amphibia, rabies, which is caused by a bite of a rabid animals, especially the carnivorous animals. It is caused by Elisa virus type 1. Okay, it is it is 100% a fatal disease. We can prevent the rabies by giving the post-exposure prophylaxis. If the patient doesn't receive the post-exposure prophylaxis, it is 100% a fatal disease. Okay, it is an actually a fatal viral encephalitis caused by single standard RNA virus. It is called as a LISA virus, family rhabdoviridae. And the rabies, it is a zoonotic disease, virtually 100% fatal, but 100% preventable disease. That is, if the worst the patient had, when the worst the person had a zoon um, rabies, it is 100% fatal. If we give vaccine, we can prevent 100% preventable disease, that is, thing in the rabies. Okay, originally this has the word the rabies, which means the to do violence. Louis was the first vaccine against the rabies in 1885. Okay, the first generation vaccine is nervous tissue vaccine, and the mailing free vaccine is duck embryo vaccine or cell culture vaccine. Okay, I will tell you at the time of vaccination what is the importance of the no tissue vaccine, uh, complications of no tissue vaccine, and the importance of myelin free vaccine. Okay. Then, if you see the highest incidence is in uh, India, Indian subcontinent, if you see the magnitude of the problem, 17.4 million animal death cases and the 20,000 deaths annually. Annually, you can see 17.4 million animal bite cases and the 20,000 deaths annually. India accounts for 36% of global and 65% of the Asian human rabies deaths. India rabies is reported in all states except Lakshadweep, Andaman, and Nicobar Islands. Okay, the Lakshadweep, Andaman, Nicobar Islands are free from rabies. Ninety-six percent of human rabies cases are due to bite of a rabid dog. And if you see the structure of the virus, it is a single standard RNA virus. It is a bullet-shaped virus. It is an anaerobic virus of lipoprotein. Numerous spikes are present at the anola, which is made up of a glycoprotein. The glycoprotein is necessary for the viral attachment and it uses the protective antibodies. So, if you see the properties of the rabies virus, it is dermolabic, it is sensitive to pasteurization and boiling. It is inactivated with the detergents, soap, alcohol, iodine, formaldehyde, phenol, and beta propiolactate. Okay, so that's why I will tell you regarding the wound toilet, which is wound toilet, it should be done by the detergent, which is a running water under, under the tap for 15 minutes. Thereby, we can remove the virus. 80% of the virus can be removed by washed the wound with the running water for about 15 minutes. If the soap and water is present, it is okay, otherwise, at least to clean water under the tap for 15 minutes immediately after the bite of the rat dinner. Okay, if you see the car, animals that are transported the rabies, it is the domestic animals are dogs and cats, and the very domestic animals are cows, bovines, sheep, sheep, goats, pigs, donkeys, horses, camels, and the wild animals like the foxes and jackals, and the monkeys, mongoose, bears, and etc. And not reported by the bats and the rodents, but in some countries, the rabies is transmitted by the bats. And if you see the bites from the infected animals, clicks on broken skin are mucous membrane. That is, the, in, uh, the rabies is transmitted by licks on broken skin or the mucous membrane, scratches, and inhalation. And if you see the incubation period, we are having a variable incubation period. So, the definition for rabies is, it is a zoonotic disease caused by Lissa virus type 1, and it is transmitted by the Lissa virus type 1, having a variable incubation period. It is also called as a hydrophobia, and it is 100% fatal disease. This is the one communicable disease which is highly fatal. 
So the incubation period is two weeks to six months. It is more than 85% of cases you can see the incubation period two weeks to six months. It ranges between the four days to six years. Shorter incubation period is seen in the children which are the vulnerable group. Or the shorter incubation, it depends upon the injury of the body. If the injury is seen on the face, neck, and the head, there will be a shorter incubation period. Okay? And how the pathogenesis, how it affects the body? Once, the multiplication of locally in the muscle fiber. Once the animal bite, a rabid animal bite occurs, and locally, it will multiply in the locally in the muscle fibers. Thereby, it reaches the peripheral nerves. From there, it reaches the dorsal root ganglion. From there, it reaches the spinal cord. From there, it reaches the brain. And from there, it is it leads to salivary glands and the other organs. Okay, the virus is neurotrophic and there is no viremia in the rabies. And if you see clinical manifestations in the humans, it is a furious type and a paralytic type. Furious type means there will be tingling and numbness at the site of the bite. Non-specific symptoms like fever, malaise, and headache, etc. And there is a hydrophobia and aerophobia and photophobia. That means the per patient is fear of water, fear of air, and fear of light. So we have to keep the patient in a dark room. If the patient comes with the rabies, we have to keep the patient in a dark room. Death, it is due to cardiorespiratory failure. So here, the death is, the survival is three to five days. In paralytic type, 20% of cases will have a paralytic type. There will be tingling and numbness at the site of the bite. Non-specific symptoms are the fever, malaise, and the headache and ascending paralysis, you can see, and the coma, and the death due to cardiorespiratory failure. Survival, it is 7 to 21 days. And if you see the management of the rabies, you have to keep admitting a separate room, quiet and breeze-free area, because there is a photophobia, aerophobia, that's why you have to keep the patient in a quiet, breeze-free area, and the bearer of nursing and universal precautions. Invasive procedures should be avoided. Sedation with the morphine and barbiturates and emotional support and the physical comfort. There should be an emotional support and the physical comfort. An early disposal of body by cremation or deep burial is recommended. All disposals contaminated with secretions and excretions and the patient tissues and or the body tissues should be disinfected. So here, you can see the prophylaxis, that is the local treatment of the wounds. How the local treatment of the wounds? That is, immediately after bites, within six hours, the, the wound should be cleaned, washed with the running tap water for 15 minutes, thereby 80% of the virus can be removed. If the wound is very large, if there is a, if the wound is very small, Okay, it can be easily washed out and it can be leave it off like that. If it is very wound is very large, it requires the suturing of the wound. But the suturing of the wound should be delayed for 20 to 24 to 48 hours. And afterwards, if if at all the stitches are required for it, it should be stitched on and off. That is a very, very wide area and the stitching of the wound is required. Immediately after a bite, the wound should not be stitched. Why? Because there is a virus in the wound. Immediately after a bite, the virus is present in the wound. So if you stitch the wound, it will pierce deeply with this needle. So that's why we unnecessarily you involve the virus environment to the deep nervous system. That's why the wound should not be stitched. Only clean the wound with the running tap water, either soap water, 
if soft water is not available, plain tap water. And if iodine is available, you can use iodine and alcohol. And immunoglobulins, if, if available, we can infiltrate locally with immunoglobulins and the vaccination of the virus. The vaccination, there are two types, I will tell you in the later, and advice and counseling. So, of course, and based on the WHO categorization, how to categorize the wounds? Touching or feeding of the animals licks on intact skin. Nothing is necessary. If a reliable cases history is available, the, it is nothing can be done. Only touching or feeding of the animals licks on the intact skin. Or nibbling of uncovered skin, minor scratches or abrasions without bleeding, that is a minor, administer vaccine immediately. Stop the treatment if animal remains healthy throughout an observation for a period of 10 days. So we have to observe the animal for about 10 days. If the animal is healthy, the no, no treatment, that nothing is necessary, just leave it down. Just first we have to give immediately a vaccine, first dose of vaccine and the stop treatment and look for the animal, how it is, whether the animal is healthy or not. Single or multiple transdermal severe bites or scratches, contamination of mucous membrane with the saliva, okay, the licks and the scratches, bites, etc. Administer rabies immunoglobulin and the vaccine immediately. Stop the treatment if the animal remains healthy throughout an observation period for 10 days. Ma, you didn't stop in the ma. It's not moving. the local treatment of the wounds. What to do? In the examination, you may ask the, the treatment for the local treatment of the wound toilet of the rabies dog bite, rabbit dog bite. So gently wash under the running water with the soap for five times over a period of 15 minutes. If the disinfectants are available, you can use the poison iodine. And the sutering should be avoid if necessary, if it is a very big wound, that is a very big lacerated injury, if a lacerated wound is there, you have to apply one or two new sutures only if it is required. Simple non occlusive dressing, tetanus toxide and antibiotics you have to give. And don't apply irritants like chili powder, plants, uh, that is a plant soap, soil, etc. 
lime, ada, etc. Our cartilization should not, should not be done. Here, previously, they used to do the cartilization to kill the virus of the locally. But now, because of ugly looking at the cartilization of the tissue, now we are not cartilage the wounds. <clears throat> okay? And the water, modern vaccines, what are the available in the modern vaccines? Now they are our rabbit poo. And then the, um, that is the rabbit poo and the video rab and the different uh, companies. The vaccine, now the schedule is vaccines are HDCV, PCEC, PBRB, and PDEV. That is the human, uh, the, the, the cell culture vaccine and uh, the, the dose is 0.5 ml. We refer the viral steroid vaccines. They are of the dose is intramuscular injection. Root is intramuscular injection. The dose is 0.5 ml. The site is deltoid or the anterior lateral aspect of the thigh. Never inject the gluteal region because it may harm the sciatic nerve. If at all it, in the, it touches the sciatic nerve, immediately it transfers the virus into the brain. Recently, if you see the, that in the cell culture vaccine, nerve tissue vaccine, etc., the here, the cell culture vaccine resident is the intramuscular injection, zero, first dose, third day, seventh day, fourteenth day, and twenty-eighth day. Zero day means it is not the Day of the diabetic dog bite. It is the day of giving the injection. It is the day of giving the vaccination. That is the zero day. That is the first dose. Zero, three, seven, fourteen, and twenty-eight. Twenty-eighth day. That is the five dose regimen. And here the point that is a zero day means day of the first dose of the vaccine given, not the day of a bite. All modern rabies vaccines are effective and safe. They are reconstituted to be vaccine to be used immediately. And all categories of the exposure. That is, as I told already, the first one is only the licks, and the second one is the bite. But it is needed to the face. The third exposure means the injuries of the face, neck, head, etc. And second one is the lacerated injuries. Okay, and here the administer the passive immunization. Administer even when the treatment is delayed, but rabies immunoglobulins should not be given after seven days of start of vaccination. It should be given three doses administered. In re-exposure cases, it is completed post-exposure prophylaxis as previously. The rabies immunoglobulins are not indicated in pre-exposure cases. Immunoglobulins are of life-saving life immunoglobulins in the rabies. Here you can see the human uh, rabies immunoglobulins. And the human rabies immunoglobulins, it is a 20 international unit per kg body weight. It is maximum 1,500 international units and equal various immunoglobulins such as a 40 international units per kg body weight and ERG that is a equine rabies immunoglobulins are administered only after the test dose. And here the test dose is inject 0.1 ml of 1 in 10 dilution of the ERIG in normal saline intradermally or flexor aspect of the forearm. Observe for veal, erythema, induration, itching, tachycardia, fall in blood pressure, and feeble pulse, etc. Pulse to test reaction is induration more than 10 millimeters with or without the constitutional symptoms. And if you see the pulse to test reaction, if the skin test is pulse to means human rabies immunoglobulins is preferred, affordability, and availability. ERIG has to be administered than pre-treatment with adrenaline. If necessary, and with the antihistamine before administering the full dose. 
A negative test is not a guarantee that anaphylaxis will not be occur. And if you see the infiltration as much as possible into or around the wound, the remaining, if any, to be given intramuscularly at the site away from the vaccine site. Inject RIG into all wounds anatomically feasible. So as you can, you can inject the R immunoglobulins in all the wounds, and then the remaining one is we can inject intramuscularly, which is away from the vaccination area. And that is the type how they they have to do. The RIG is insufficient by volume, so you can barely touch in the sterile normal saline and. Post exposure treatment should be given to immune compromised patients. That is, AIDS, long term steroid therapy, chloroquine treatment, anti cancer therapy, and immunosuppressive therapy, etc. That is, the post exposure treatment should be given to immune, immune compromised patients. That is, persons consuming raw milk of the rabbit animal, the pregnant and the lactating mothers. We can do post exposure treatment. And then there is no absolute contraindication for a post exposure prophylaxis. In such special circumstances, if RIG is not available, we can do the proper local wound treatment, double the first dose of the vaccine. The, there is no substitute for the RIG, and all other options are in place. And we have to, the intradermal rabies vaccine, that is another one of the intradermal rabies vaccine. It is approved with the WHO and the DCGI. It is a cost effective. Studies in India and abroad have confirmed the safety and efficacy. Implementation in a phased manner in the centers with the large attendance of the animal bite vaccine. If you see the intradermal vaccination, the intramuscular vaccination, we have to give the one ml. Whereas an intradermal vaccination, we can give 0.5, 0.1 ml. Okay, that is the that is the cost effective. The actually the virus, the vaccine is very very highly very costly. Previously in government hospitals, it is only the nervous tissue vaccines are available. Because of nervous tissue vaccines, there are so many complications with the nervous tissue vaccine. I had uh, in my experience, I had a one case. With a one graduate student at the time, only the nervous tissue vaccines are available in the government hospitals. So, one girl, the postgraduate came to the hospital with a dog bite, rabbit dog bite. We gave the anti rabies vaccine, ARV, anti rabies vaccine. It is a nervous tissue vaccine. And the first day he is okay, we had to do 14 days injections around the umbilicus, on the abdomen. So on the first day he is working, and the second day he is working, and third day he developed paraplegia. So that is the severe complication with nervous tissue vaccine. Because the vaccine you had to give for 14 days, and because of the nervous tissue vaccine, it is directly involved in the nervous system. So here, after that, the cell culture vaccines are coming to the government. The cell culture vaccines are highly effective, no contraint, no complications with the cell culture vaccine. Whereas there are severe complications with the nervous tissue vaccine. But here, the cell culture vaccine, now the, in all government hospitals, which is available, the cell culture vaccine, of course, it is a cost effective. It is uh, uh, one vial costs about 300 rupees. It is cost effective. Studies in India and abroad have confirmed the safety and the efficacy. Implementation in a phased manner in the centers with the large attendance of the animal bite. Okay, the dose is 0.1 ml in two sided reservoir. Two sided reservoir. You have to, whenever you ask the post exposure prophylaxis of the rabbit dog wound, means you have to write all these lines. First is nervous tissue vaccine. Of course, it is now it is not available, not used, not available because severe complications. The second one is the cell culture vaccine. Here there will be two-sided resonant. That is, in two-sided resonant, the dose is 0.1 ml 
intradermal root. The site is upper arm over each deltoid. The schedule is 22202. That is, actually the schedule is 0374428 days. And first day, you can give two doses. And third day, you have to give two again two doses, 0.1 ml intradermally. And seventh day, you have to give two doses. And the fourteenth day, no injections only. And twenty-eighth day, two doses. That's why we call it as two 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 zero two. That means on fourteenth day, it's not necessary. Injection is not necessary in intradermal root point one ml injection. Whereas the normal, you can have if it is a one ml injection, you have to give zero three seven fourteen twenty-eight day. That is five days treatment. And pre pre exposure prophylaxis. Pre exposure prophylaxis is recommended in groups like veterinarians and then laboratory personnel working with the rabies virus or medical or paramedical personnel treating the rabies patients. And the dog catchers and the dog pond workers and the forest staff, zookeepers and the postman, policemen, karaoke boys, etc. These are the pre exposure prophylaxis. In the pre exposure prophylaxis, intramuscular schedule, human duck embryo, cell vaccine, or, or purified cell culture vaccine, etc. Because this is the 0.5 ml and 1 ml, etc. The dose, the site is delta or anterior lateral leg. The dose is intramuscular root. The pre-exposure prophylaxis we had to give on the zero first zero dose and first dose, seventh day, second dose, and the 21 or 28 days on the third day. Now estimate the antibody status annually for all risk groups, and every five to six months in lab personnel. And if the titer are less than 0.5 international units per ml, give booster dose. After exposure, re-exposure after a full course of documented pre and post exposure vaccination. The modern vaccine is two booster dose, zero day and the third day, no immunoglobulins. All incom incomplete vaccinations or partial vaccinations or doubtful vaccinations need to be treated as a fresh case. And the medical advice to the patient. 10 days observation period in dogs and cats. And if you see the animals, rabies animals, there will be a prodromal phase in the rabies animals. The aggressive animal may become calm. It is a friendly animal may become withdrawn. The wildlife may lose the fear of humans. These are the prodromal phase. That is, aggressive animal may become calm. Our friendly animal may become withdrawn. At the wild animal may become fear of humans. Ex excitative type or a furious type of rabies means it is agitated, restless, excitable, indiscriminating, and profuse salivation. The vocal cords are affected. That's why the, the dog is not, not bark very loudly. And if you can see the conversions and the paralysis and death. In paralytic type or a dumb type of rabies, the middles of the head and neck are affected. Difficulty in swallowing, paralysis spreads to extremities, coma and death. An unexplained sudden death in the dogs should be viewed as a suspected rabies, hence the hand should be treated by post-exposure prophylaxis. And medical advice to the patient, no dietary restriction, no restriction of the physical exercise, Report adverse effects, if any, to the physician without fail. Best to avoid the consumption of alcohol during the course of the treatment. Complete course of vaccination. And advice to the attendants, avoid contact with the secretions of, and the excretions of the rabies patient. Wash the hands and expose the areas thoroughly with soap and water. Post-exposure vaccination for close contact, initiated with the modern vaccination where the barrier nursing is not followed. And the personal safety against the rabies, don't touch the animal bite wounds with the bare hands. 
keep away from the stray or sick animals. Avoid the contact with the saliva, urine, ears, semen, vaginal secretions, and other body secretions of the rabies patient. It is because the rabies secretions contain the rabies virus. And get your pet revaccinated at three months of the age, and again one month later. And the boosters must be given every year subsequently. And do not allow your pet to come in contact with the street dogs or the cats or the other animals. Inform the municipal authorities about the sick and mad dogs and take the treatment even after pet dog bite includes the injections. And the reservoir control domestic animals vaccination program for all the dogs and cats, remove of strays and unwanted animals, animal birth control for the stray dogs is to be encouraged. New biological tools like a specific contraceptive vaccines for the dog population to control to be introduced. And the reservoir of control domestic animals vaccination program for all the dogs and cats, remain of the stray dogs and the unwanted animals. Animal birth control for the stray dogs is to be encouraged. New biological tools like a specific contraceptive vaccines for the dog population control to be introduced. And for the domestic animals, my Kiran, of course, they, if at all we vaccinate, we immunize the foxes and the just the best way to immunize is a oral vaccine. There is one word called as a oral vaccine, where we can actually the animals we can do the wild animals we can do the oral vaccination. So how to give a oral vaccine to the wild animals? It is the best way they have they have done a study on this and they concluded that give the vaccine to the the hens head. Hens head and pour all the hens heads in the one area where the jackals and the foxes come together in that place at the lion, etc. They will eat the chicken heads and thereby they will become the immunized with the rabies. So that is the one method to, in, for giving the in, vaccination to the, the, these uh, the foxes and the jackals. That is, that is the oral vaccine. By the way, by keeping the vaccination into the heads of the hen's heads and pour the, all the heads in that one place where the jackal and foxes come there, they will eat these heads, they will get immunized. That is the one type of, one technique for the uh, immunization, uh, giving the vaccine to the wild animals. So with this, I have completed the rabies vaccination. This is the, the prevention and control. So the rabies, how the rabies occurs, it is by, done, by the bite of the rabbit dog animals. How the treatment works, the wound toilet, especially the wound toilet is very, very essential. And then post-exposure prophylaxis treatment. There is a nervous tissue vaccine and the cell culture vaccine. Cell nervous tissue vaccine is you had to give 14 days, but the complications are very, very high with the nervous tissue vaccine, especially because in most of the cases, you can see the paraplegia with the nervous tissue vaccine. Whereas the cell culture vaccine, the dose is very limited and the complications are very, very less. We had to give zero dose, third day, seventh day, 14th day, and 28 days for the five doses. We can do the 1 ml vaccine for continuous five days, or we can do the intradermal vaccine 2, 2, 2, 2, and 0, 2, 14 day, 14th day, not necessary. We can do the, that is the four doses. Thereby, we can reduce the cost of the vaccine because the vaccine is cost, cost effective. The vaccine is very, very costly. Now, if all government hospitals, the cell culture vaccine is available. Yeah, that is the chapter of the rapes. Thank you.